Hey y'all, this is Robin Wilson from Social Climber Pro, and I wanted to shoot just a little video tonight uh, talking about something that we all experience and how to have some tricks and tips up your sleeve to not have to struggle with this. And this tonight is all about overcoming negative self-talk. And whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Young or old, it doesn't matter. We all go through it. We all have those conversations with ourselves where we're not good enough, we're a failure, you know, we lost our temper, you know, I'm overweight, um, I need to quit smoking, I'm just, it's horrible because I smoke, and my health, I, all of the horrible things that we say about ourselves, which is, I don't even know why. Why do we not love ourselves above everybody else, but we don't? We'll say positive things to our friends, to our kids, to our spouse, and then beat ourselves up. So it's time to stop that. And I'm going to give you some tips and some tricks to help you whenever those negative thoughts start coming into your mind so they don't become negative self-talk. Okay, we want to change your conversation that you have with yourself, okay? So my first tip that I, that I have, and I know I've talked to you guys about it before, that my husband works in Alaska. So... Um, and that's for a purpose. He works there for a purpose because we have a life vision and right now we're sacrificing the time that we would like to spend together so that we can live where we want to live and um, not have to worry about it. But there's times when that's really difficult. You know, he's how many ever thousand miles away and three hour time difference, which makes communicating difficult at best. And... Um, and I'm like, why are we doing this? Just come home. I can't even tell you. I've said it a hundred times to him. And he's like, we have a plan. Let's stick to the plan. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to move this mic in a little bit. A little bit better. So um, on his side of the bathroom mirror, I have written on his mirror my positive affirmations, the reasons why he's in Alaska and we are um, living, you know, half of a continent away from each other. And so when I start feeling frustrated or lonely or sad or any negative about whatever's going on, then I go back in and I read these positive affirmations that I have written on his side of the bathroom mirror, which isn't being used. So, And when he comes home to visit, he doesn't even wipe them away. He just brushes his teeth and shaves right through them. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So... Um, here is what a positive affirmation might sound like in case you're like, I don't even know what this means. Okay, so um, my business is growing daily. My marriage is healthy and full of joy. My ideal weight is becoming a reality because of the healthy choices that I'm now making. Those are positive affirmations. Those are, that's positive self-talk, okay? Not negative self-talk. Okay, so my tip number one is to um, have your affirmations prepared in advance. Okay. So think about the areas that you struggle with the most whenever you're talking to yourself and you're, uh, not speaking positivity into your life. Where are those areas? Is it about your weight? Is it about smoking? Is it, um, about your career or your job or your marriage? So what are those areas? And then write down the positive affirmations that are the things that if you could speak it into your life, what would they be? Have them prepared on a piece of paper or a note card or a little laminated whatever, something you can keep with yourself because you may not be at home in the bathroom when it's time to have a good thought to overcome negative self-talk. You may be in the drive through at Chick-fil-A. I don't know where you're going to be, but if you have them with you, then you can pull them out and you can read them. So you've got them prepared. And immediately when you start reading out loud these positive affirmations, my business is growing daily. My marriage is healthy and full of joy. My ideal weight is becoming a reality because of the healthy choices that, I'm, that I now make. When you start, the other conversation can't happen. When you start reading these positive affirmations, that other conversation can't happen. They can't have two conversations at once in your head. So tip number one, have the affirmations prepared and keep them with you. Okay. Um, tip number two is have a couple of wins written down. And when I say wins, 
There are times in your life whenever you have set a goal or um, done something that you were super proud of, okay? Remember what those are and write them down, okay? Um, I was a mortgage lender for over a decade. Um, I made really good money and I worked very hard and I really loved what I did. Um, and in 2008, the mortgage meltdown happened. The housing industry crumbled and life as I knew it, knew it did not exist anymore. I had to reinvent myself. I could not make that much money anymore. Um, underwriters weren't approving anything. The details are just horrible. But um, And so I was just kind of like, what am I going to do? I mean, what do I do for a job? I can't do this anymore. And um, so I put myself back through school. As a matter of fact, it was kind of a whim. I, I don't even think my husband believed I was going to finish because I literally was driving by the school, went in to get some information, and before I knew it, I was enrolled. Um, so got my business degree. Uh, I think I was 47 or 48 whenever I went back to school. I don't remember exactly when I started, but um, and had a full-time job. I was working um, a job that I did not enjoy. Matter of fact, it was the most boring job I've ever had in my life, but it paid for me while I was going to school. So I was able to go to school, do my homework, work full time, and go back and get my business degree. And then shortly thereafter, started uh, my business, Social Climber Pro. Now, I'm gonna move this a little bit, sorry. <laughs> I didn't learn uh, while I was in school about social media marketing. I mean, it really is an industry that moves at the speed of light. And so there's, by the time they would create a curriculum for it and get a teacher up to speed to teach it, all the stuff they would be teaching would be irrelevant. But what I did learn was that when you are in a learning mode, whatever you're learning, your brain is open, your mind is open to receive new thoughts, new ideas, um, new ways to solve problems. And that's what happened. That's what happened. While I was in school, I had the idea for this business. And I just impl I just executed it, I implemented it, and, and moved forward. And that was in 2013 when very few people were doing social media marketing for other businesses. Um, they were barely just starting to do it for themselves. And um, we, we did this little grassroots company and built it from the ground up. And I'm super proud of it now. But I, can't, I can tell you the times whenever... I about pulled my hair out and walked away because the negative self-talk happened. It was frustrating. It was, are we ever going to make a dime? You know, are, am I ever going to get an employee to stay? You know, so I've had to overcome the negative self-talk myself. So this is how I did it. I have the affirmations written on my bathroom wall, my bathroom mirror, not my wall. <laughs> um, I have a couple of wins written down under my belt times when I succeeded, when I just nailed it. Like my, whenever we talk about fitness and I am not what the world would consider a perfect size, anything, but I am healthy and I eat right and I exercise. And a couple of years ago, I ran my very first 5k. Um, I want to say I was probably 48 when I ran my first 5k. I didn't even know how far 5k was that's how I'm not a runner and uh, a friend that I was working with while I was still going to school had talked me into doing it and I'm like okay whatever I don't, I don't know how long it's gonna take I don't know if it would take me hours I didn't had, I had no idea how long it was but that's another win I started running 5ks and every time I think about you know if I'm not in the best shape physically or if I'm not that person right there, I'm think how many other 48 year old women ever just walked out the door and went and ran their first 5k? How many, I'm 52 now, so how many 52 year old women run five to six 5ks a year and run a business and go visit their husband in Alaska? And so the wins that you have, the times when you succeed, the times when you nail it, keep those written down. Maybe they're on the back side of your positive affirmations. I don't know where they're at, but write them down so you can remember you haven't been a failure your whole life. You've succeeded. I have four great healthy kids that I help to create and nurture them into the men and women that they are today. Those are the wins and the successes 
that are mine. Keep them written down, okay? And my tip number three, this is the last one, is you need a success buddy. So which one of your friends, one or two, three, how many ever you need, are that friend that when you need them to speak life back into you, when you need someone to not commiserate with you, but to remind you of how great you are, how far you've come, how successful you are, what a leader you are in your church or your community or your place of business, that you pick up the phone and you call them. So let's say that you're just at that point in the day where you're just like, you're feeling overwhelmed by the burden of, gosh, just life, you know? And you just need to to hear a voice. You need to hear somebody on the other end of the line telling you that you are successful, that you have done great things. And maybe you just start sharing success stories with each other. Oh, remember that time whenever you were at that yard sale and you scored that awesome trunk that you've been looking for for years and took it home and it was the showpiece of your living room. Oh my God, nobody else would have ever found that piece. I mean, just the successes, just the things that you can celebrate. Where is that friend? Who is that friend? Call them ahead of time and let them know. Go, look, I'm putting you on my success friends list. And there's going to be times when I'm going to need to call you because I am overcoming the negative self-talk. And so I may pick up the phone and give you a shout. And I need you to answer and I need you to talk me down from the negative and back onto the positive and back onto the success. And if you will do those three tips, have your affirmations written down and in your hand somewhere where you can reach them, have a couple of wins written down and have a friend on speed dial for a success chat. I'm telling you, you can overcome negative self-talk all day long, every day. So remember, my business is growing daily. My marriage is healthy and full of joy. And my ideal weight is becoming a reality because of the healthy choices that I make. That's positive. That is good for you. And that is successful. You guys have a great day. I'm getting ready to uh, knock out one more hour of work and then I'm going home to see my dogs. So have a great one. Robin Wilson, Social Climber Pro.